Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Atlas. Today, I've got a couple things planned. One of them being, I want to try to find some oil. We need that for the bucket so that we can milk the cow. And I think we need that for doing a couple other things. I'm not too sure. I remember seeing it in a couple of the recipes. And then I want to go ahead and try to build one of the other ship docks. That way, or shipyards, whatever you call them. That way, we can build a bigger boat. There's a big freighter that we should be able to build. And I think we can actually live on it, like put our crafting benches and stuff like that. So I'd like to take a look at that. It might need to be put out in deeper water. So that's going to be, <laughs> that'll be something we have to kind of figure out as we do it. There is a very deep spot over there. That's where we did the taming of one of our one of our cows. The cow or the bull? I think they were both tamed over there. So it turns out, this right here, it does kind of work as a preserving bin. You can see these foil time is way up on that. And they haven't eaten anything out of it yet, though. I think that's where we put the food at. Still trying to figure all this out. It's only been like... Half of an in-game day since we got those guys tamed. And it's saying that they're on the feeding trough, which is empty. I took the food out of there and put it into here. So I'm not too sure how it works out, right? Because there's nothing over here to access. It's all just right there. Maybe we need to... Well, let's try this real quick before we go. Let's go ahead and destroy this. And see what happens. I don't know if it's going to change what they're feeding off of. Because they did have the feed trough symbol above their head a minute ago. Still at 24. Uh, we'll give it some time and see. We'll check back at the end of the video, if I remember. <laughs> and we'll see if any of those are gone. If so, great. If not, I mean, it is what it is. I'll figure it out eventually. So let's start off with a little bit of the oil and stuff. Apparently, you can get it from tuna or manta rays. And those are both here kind of close to base. I did see some tuna in here. Watch, they're all going to be gone now. Really need some fins or something to help swimming. And you can get it from sharks as well. I'd prefer not to fight the sharks. I mean, that's just my personal preference. There's a tuna way out over there. Let's try to get up to it. We'll smack them a couple times. Get a little bit of oil and see where we're at and how much we get from it. We'll swim away, man. Stay close. Oh, there's another one over there, too. All right, let's go ahead and chop you up. Oh, that's a good bit of oil there, too. Oh, dude, we got 17 out of that one. Let's get some air. Gotta watch our stamina. We are a little ways away from shore. Gotta watch out for sharks as well. And mantas. Boy, I tell you what, this might be might be a bad idea coming out here. Let's get up here to this last one, and that should be enough for testing for today. There we go. Yeah, so they say that the hatchet gives you more oil. Keep getting pulled back up to the top there. I hate that. Dude, let me just stay down. There we go. So we got how much? We got some skin. I definitely needed that. Or some hide. We got 42 oil. Nice, nice. That'll be plenty for right now. That is super simple. I can't believe I waited so long to look up how to get it. Oh, there's another tuna there. I mean, while we're here. Oh, there's two more. I tell you what, we're going to leave them. It seems like they're all over the place around here. So at least we have a good constant supply of oil. Oh, yeah. One of the other things it makes is the wall lights or lanterns that we can put up. So, yeah, our boat's a little bit small. Let's get back up to base here. We'll throw the fish on the fire with the rest of the meat and try to make one of the other shipyards. I think there's only one more we can make that doesn't require gold. It kind of sucks because, oh, yeah, the gold. I need to pay my dude. I accidentally forgot. I went over there to check on him and forgot that whenever I was cleaning everything out, I took all of the gold. I think we've got like six hours if he doesn't get paid. He said it's going to be a mutiny. <laughs> yeah, see? Needs payment. Six hours until mutiny. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and throw that into there. I thought he was supposed to pull it out of... Oh, there we go. He paid himself. You good, buddy? You all right? Well, I'll tell you what. Surprised he didn't leave me. I'm going to need you here whenever we get a bigger boat. Just saying. Keep getting stuck on those things. All right, let's put this into here. We'll cook that up. Give me this and this, please, and thank you. And it looks like our salts... Where's it at? <gasps> Are we out of salts? Oh, I was just about to say, it seems like they're lasting a very long time. Oh, but they're not. Okay, well, hmm. Let's make some of those two real quick. I think I have like one piece of salt left. We got two. So it's salt and what else? A little bit of flint. That's what the flint was in there for. Let's just take six. We'll leave six in there. And then we got the oil, too. So that's kind of nice, man. It's kind of nice. I want to make a bucket and see about the the milk. 
craft all two of you. <laughs> I tell you what. Oh man, I need to find an easier way to get salt. Alright, there we go. We're good on salt. Did I accidentally pick it up and put it into here? I don't think I did. Okay. I cleaned everything out. I took all the resources and put them all back where they should go. So let's drop you there. And then for the bucket, we need a little bit of metal, thatch, and wood. The metal, a little bit of thatch. We'll take half a stack of wood. And one bucket, please. There's a barrel, too. We need some fibers and some keratin. We're kind of short on fiber. Kind of has me worried. I mean, we can get more if we need it. But I'm wanting to see if I actually put a barrel on the boat. If we can fill that up with water? I think we can. I think that's how it works. Yeah, the store's water. Can be filled by using a bucket or by keeping the lid open while it's raining. Oh, interesting. Okay, so rain will... Wait, so we gotta open and close the lid? That'd be kind of weird. Let's put you right there. Milk the cow. We got 20 milk out of that. So is it... It's just in our inventory. Oh, dude, that is fantastic, man. I like it. So we don't have to worry so much about fish. As long as we have that. We need to get the salt thing worked out because I do want to put the preserving bags on the boat as soon as we can. And that'll last a while, too. Almost six hours for each one. Okay. And then the bucket is still good. Oh, dude, I like it. And I don't want to put this out. I want to wait on that. So let's... We'll just keep it in our inventory. So, the shipyards. The main thing for today. So that's a small one for sloops. And that's going to be 500 gold. That one's going to be almost 10,000 gold. And that's the one, that's like the biggest one, right? For the brigs and the galleon. That'll be kind of like the end game one, I think. This is the one we're building today. So I think we can do two different boats off of this. One being the freighter. And then one being, I think it's called a cog. So let's go ahead and grab, we need some stone, thatch, and wood. Some stone. I think it was 2,000 on this. Ooh, we're overweight. It's going to be a very slow walk. All right, so there we go. One basic shipyard. It's kind of neat how this one doesn't require any of the... Where's it at? There it is. Kind of blends in. How it doesn't require any of the other stuff for it. The gold. So how big is it compared to this one? From what I saw, this has to be put in deep waters. Oh yeah, that thing is massive. So we won't be able to craft the cog. Water's not deep enough. Won't be able to craft the tramp freighter. Water's not deep enough. Ah, oh, dude, that is super deep over here, too. Okay, so let's do this. I kind of figured that. That's what I kind of read online. So let's get on... one of our teams, and we'll go over there. We might end up just moving our whole base. I mean, there's not much of it. We'll have to see how much we're going to use our shipyard, too, because I don't think any other water around here is deep. It's kind of super shallow over here, right? I'll take the bull. And hopefully avoid that manta that was floating around down in here. I mean, we could build it... Over here, we'll have to see. I thought there was a channel deep enough. But it's not, that is super shallow. Kinda makes me wonder how deep the boat's gonna be. And that we're gonna build, and then... How are we supposed to get... Up close to the other shores and stuff? I guess we have to do the dinghy, right? Because I do not want to get this thing all beached and everything. Oh, dude! Oh, dude! Okay, well, yep, sharks are a thing! I was just going to say, there's a very nice deep shelf right there. Dude, that thing is terrifying looking. It is nothing like the sharks in Ark. It's like a hammerhead. Look how big he is, man. Yep, 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 okay, okay. Please tell me you cannot come to shallow water. Please tell me you can't come to shallow water. Okay, he can't come to shallow water. <laughs> That's a good thing, man. That's, I think, the first one we've really seen, right? Anyways, let's go ahead and build here. Be a fantastic spot for it. <laughs> oh man, it's kind of close to our base. We won't have to move base, I don't think. Water's not deep enough. Oh, we can build it right out here. Okay, so that's not that bad of a situation. I mean, the sharks are a bad situation. Let's go ahead and just get as far over this way as we can. And we'll just put it right here. Like a huge shelf along this whole thing right here. 
Alright, so... Wait, is this deep enough? Looks like it. Alright, let's build it. Right there. Oh, that is super deep. Oh, that is super deep. Nice, man. Nice. Dude, this shark is terrifying. So what I'll end up doing is... Well, let's go put this guy back on shore. I don't want him to be out here. We're kind of... Oh, that's kind of in a bad spot. Let me pick it back up. It's kind of weird. I thought I was closer to shore. Can I pick it back up? All right, give me a minute. Let me try to figure out how I want to set this thing down. I need to put him back up out here. I want to keep him safe, but I want to be able to have access so that I can... Build a little dock coming out to it, right? That way it's easier to get to. A little bit safer. Alright, so this is where we're going to build at. This is over where we tamed both of our... Our tames at, right? We got the cow. It is super deep right by shore. So if anything, like I said, we can move our base over here. Not that big of a deal. It's right over there. We're just kind of on the other side of this island. What level are you? 32. Okay. See about getting this guy put out right here where it drops off. I don't want to place it that far out, man. Can we not build it closer into shore? I can't. I can. Aha! <laughs> we got it. There we go. So that's not too bad. It looks a little bit weird because it is floating, but that should be safe for us to be able to build at, right? And we're really close. I can build a little dock coming out here. Alright, cool. So, what can we build? So there is the freighter. It is a small double mass cargo hauler. Okay. Fairly cheap. We do have all that stuff. And this is the cog. It's a small single mast sailing ship. I mean, we could technically go ahead and build both of these, right? Tell you what. Let me grab this stuff. We're going to build them both and see which one we want to keep. I'm hoping... It should launch fine right here, right? Because it's so deep. Dude, that is so far down, man. Gotta watch out for those sharks. <laughs> I do not want to see another hammerhead. At least not right now. I mean, I'm sure later we'll have to hunt them. But, alright. Let me get some resources moved over. And we will build us a couple boats today. Easiest way to get everything over here, I think, is going to be just by... Sailing over there. Seems how we got such a high carry weight in this thing, and it's... I mean, it's deep enough to make it all the way across. But, I totally forgot, man. <laughs> so when I did my resource run... Well, one, this makes it awesome because it stacks so high. You don't have a ton of, of slots, you know, for stuff. But, I totally forgot. I do have a ton of berries. This is all the stuff I got from over at the other island. We got licorice, we got a bunch of stuff I found. Some more of the geodes, a bunch of meats. So it's not too bad, man. I got some of this stuff, whatever this is. A stone floor. I got all this from kind of doing the crates in between here and there, so it's not too bad. We are going to have to hire another deckhand, though. I think that one said it had two masts on it, or maybe they both do. So, we'll probably have to grab another one, or if there's a mast right by the steering area, the steering wheel, I might be able to run that one myself. We'll kind of have to wait and see how it is once we get up here and get it all set up. Well, that's slightly terrifying. We've got quite a few friends out there. They probably heard that we were building a new ship dock and wanted to come and try to claim a free ship. I'm <laughs> just saying, I haven't seen them that close to shore in a while. And the thing is, man, like I said, we are right here. So I don't know if there's any kind of defense we can put up or if they just won't come that close to shore. We'll have to kind of judge and wait and see how that kind of works out. Because, dude, I do not want to get attacked whenever I'm trying to launch a ship or something. I mean, it's not that expensive for this one. But whenever we go to build a bigger... Ship dock, I do not want to have that thing get destroyed, you know? Or any of our boats even being set out, you know? Whenever we're not around. Alright, so it is the next morning. I tell you what, man. Somebody did a fantastic job parking right next to this thing. The only problem is, <laughs> we almost couldn't anchor. It is super deep right there. And there's a ton of tuna around. I'm glad I'm starting to see those everywhere. Because that'll help out with the oil situation later on. But, I kind of brought a little bit of everything. That way we can go ahead and build these. Not have any problems. Let's start off with the cog. Craft one. Okay, okay. Looks not too bad. It's like a it's like a proper ship, man. So that only has one mast. What size is it? That is a medium. Okay. So it's almost like that one. But bigger. Right? What's our carry weight on this thing? So ship weight is four thousand. Okay. And what kind of 
Oh, what that sound was. What kind of sail is this? This is a... This is medium sail. I thought it would say what kind it is. Oh, it's a handling sail. Okay, so that'll help us get around a lot easier. It's a lot of room, though, man. It's not too bad. I like it because there's a downstairs, right? We can go ahead and put our crafting stuff, maybe some storage, things like that. I wouldn't mind seeing what the difference between a handling sail and then... Oh, there's a, even an area back here. Dude, it's like we could have a little office back here. Just saying. Be kind of neat. But I wouldn't mind seeing what the weight goes up to with a regular weight sail, too, you know? Ah, oh, man, this kind of looks more like a, uh, a boat than the other one does. Than that one. That one's just kind of small, you know? Okay, didn't mean to jump down there, but that works. And then we got the ladder on the back. Okay. I thought we had to actually build parts for these. Or is that for some of the other boats? Maybe these are just the pre-made ones. Seems how it's in a very easy dock. Nice, man, nice. Okay, let's go ahead and launch this. Release ship, okay. Uh oh, dude, we're down in the water. <gasps> There's a shark down there! Okay, 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 okay. I saw that right as it came up. Dude, let me on the ladder. Let me on the ladder! Okay, let's get out of the water. Out of the water! Ah, that is slightly terrifying, I'm just saying. <laughs> Why is it so hard to get up on the ladder there? Alright, let's get you out of the dock here. Oh, you know what? Hmm. I should bring Junior over to have, have him work our sales for us. Let's... I don't want to... There we go. 10%. 20%. Just a little bit for us to move. Easy. Easy. It's kind of a... It looks very tall for being so kind of stubby, you know? <laughs> oh, that's alright, though. We'll get it over here. Anchor it. And then we'll get the other one made real quick. All right, we need to we need to slow it down a little. I'm just saying we're going kind of fast here, man. Kind of fast. Let's go fully close, and then just open ten percent. That is a very very deep draft compared to that one. All right, let's go ahead and oh, we're too deep. Too deep for. For setting anchor, okay. We're not going forward any because we're too close to the shore, I think. Oh, man. It's going to be kind of hard to drop anchor here. Let's spin around. See if we can get the back end close. There we go. Cool. So this one would work out because it's only one mast. It's not too bad. Avoid the sharks. Tons of fish. Ah, dude, it looks good though, man. Looks good. Okay, cool. So let's get the other one. See what it looks like. So that's a cog. Uh, we're missing. Oh, dude, we're very shy on fibers. All right, give me a second. Let me grab a little bit more fibers. Not many. I've got our sickle, so it should go fairly fast. And then we'll try to get that last one done before the storm comes. We're gonna have to eat here soon ourselves too. It's not too hard, man. It doesn't seem like you have to eat very often. I kind of like it. That makes the juggling the vitamins a lot easier. All right, so we need the freighter. Holy crap, dude. Oh, this thing is massive, man. It's a little bit bigger than the other one. I think only because... So we got these on the sides. Wait, what? Must be anchored to add or remove items. Okay, okay. So it is double mast. I wonder if we can add a second mast over on ours. We'll have to see. Kind of the same setup. We got the... The steering up here. Okay. A little office back here. And then the whole downstairs here again. Okay, okay, okay. I like it. I like it. I don't like the double mast, though. And what are these for? See, what is our weight on this one? Holy crap, dude! 16,500 on the weight! We can have up to eight crew. That is nuts, man. It's probably because of all these, right? Is that how that works? I don't know. Let's go ahead and... Release the Kraken. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, well, hmm. 
That was awkward. We just got thrown through the floor. All right, let's do the same thing. Let's go ahead and do... What is going on here? Are we bugged? Should we not be on here whenever we release it? We good? I think we're fine. All right, let's do 10% on just one of the sails again. Oh, this thing is huge, man. Oh, it is massive. It's about the same size, though, I think, lengthwise and height as a cog. Dude, the weight on this thing, though. Holy crap, that is massive. And these... Are these large sails? They gotta be large. They look a lot bigger than the mediums. Or at least one of them is a large. All right, I know we're... I know we're slow moving, but it's kind of the whole point, right? Let's let's go ahead and bump it up to 20. We'll get out over here and then same thing. We'll spin around and we'll set out our anchor. So with this one, we'll have to we'll have to have an extra crewman. A crew member. I kinda like having just a one to be honest. I mean, it just makes life so much easier. But the main thing I was going for was weight. Yeah, I mean, this one definitely has weight. We'll have to do... We'll do a, a sail test as well to see how fast we move out on the water. Because the sloop, even though it has a high carry weight... Dude, it was going super slow, man. Even with only half weight, you know? So this thing, it turns like a blimp. Holy crap, dude. I mean, it's, it's fairly large. Now let's get ready to... Tone this down a little bit. And I know it's super shallow here, in front, that's why we're not moving, so let's spin around. Please do not get stuck. That's another reason why I wanted to do it over here, because it drops off so deep, all you have to do is spin around, and then you'll be... ...unstuck, apparently. <laughs> oh, we can get turned around without hitting our other boat! We'll have to just get ready to throw anchor out. Can't yet. Still can't. We're getting close. Our back end should be somewhat close to the shallows. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, cool. We are anchored. So, let's see about these. So, what's the point of these? I don't want the ship options. Can we get rid of these? Is that a possibility? Cargo rack. Empty cargo rack. Warning will not drop the float sim. Float sim? Float sim? I'll tell you what, that's that word, man. I don't want to use it. It won't drop the cargo. So, what does it do whenever we drop it? Can we put another one up there? Is that part of what makes it such high on our weight? So, 16,500. All right, let's, let's do this, man. We're testing. Oh, wait. Excess inventory. So, non-modified weight is 8,000, okay? Is that just for, like, keeping stuff separate in your storage? Drop it. Let's drop it. Let's empty it. It's gone. <laughs> what is our weight now? It's the exact same. Okay. So, are they just for looks or just for keeping stuff separate? And we can't get rid of this. We can create a new cargo container. It requires items. Okay, doesn't tell you what items. Fantastic. Hmm. I don't know. But, let's do this, man. Let's do a couple speed tests, and we'll see how that works out. I almost face-planted in the, uh, <laughs> in the side of the bank there. Ah, uh, we'll grab Junior from over there off the sloop. We'll put him on the cog. We'll do a little speed run, catch some wind. Long as we get good wind and stuff like that, that one might be the one we use. I mean, we'll keep that one, too. But we'll uh, we'll do a test with that one as well to see how fast it goes. I know how fast a sloop goes. And I wouldn't mind putting some weight sails on the cog if we end up keeping it. Just to see how it is. Maybe not in this video because we are very shy on resources. Buddy. Let's, um... Unseat you. Holy crap, dude. You went flying, man. Come with me, please, good sir. So much bad stuff down there. So at least we're deep enough over here for that stuff. And dude, if these are small ships, we're going to need a lot of crew members for a brig or galleon. 
All right, Junior, up here, man. Let's take her for a spin. I like how he kind of climbs up whenever he follows you. All right, let's put you... Oh, you can move him all the way over to the ramshackle sloop from here. Let's put you on here. Now let's go ahead and raise our anchor. See about spinning around and set sail. The wind is going that way. We'll probably loop around then if we can. So I wonder if I could put a large one. I think you can't really see that until like the, the point you get until you try to place it, right? I mean, already this thing's moving a good bit faster than the sloop does. We're not even in the wind. Let's rotate our sails. Catch them here. Oh my gosh, dude. That is fantastic. Oh, we're moving. Oh, we're moving. I think we're going to move on to this one, actually, speaking about moving. Dude, that is awesome, man. Okay, let's not get too far. Let's not get too far. Let's slow it down. Let's rotate this around. It'll slow us, let us turn a little bit easier, and then it'll be set for whenever we spin around. I think this might be it for right now. I'll have to see if we can put a large sail on it. I mean, a large sail seems like it would work, and that way we can catch more wind and stuff. But, dude, we are moving, man. I wonder if we could put cannons and stuff on this, too. Just for a little bit of protection against the pirates and stuff. We'll have to see how that works out. The draft is about double of the sloop. And I'll have to see if we can put a dinghy on the back. Alright, let's slow it down, two-leg. Slow it down, two-leg. Easy, buddy, easy. I know, man, he's all excited. It's like taking a new car for a drive, man. You want to get on the gas pedal, see how fast it goes. <laughs> oh, man. So that's the first time we've used the handling sail as well. Now let's try to do the same thing where we get up here. We'll get right at the shallows, spin around, and drop anchor. Seems like to be the easiest thing to do right now. We'll have to build a dock to get out. Or, or man, I guess there's a dinghy, right? But is that limited on weight, too? It might be. I keep forgetting you can slowly go back with these boats, too. Oh, that should work there. Wrong button. Cool. All right, dude. Let's, uh, let's go test this other one out. And seat you. Yep. Oh, okay. It must be bath day. Come with me, good sir. Let's try to avoid the sharks, if possible. Let's see if we can get on this one. We'll take this one for a quick spin, too, and that'll kind of decide which one. I don't know. It might be longer than that one. We'll see as we kind of float by it a little bit. I'll put him on the front sail, and I will be on the back one. Okay, there we go. Climbing's a little bit easier whenever you're not bouncing around, you know? This one. <laughs> There's so much stuff here, man. It seems so cluttered with these things on the sides. But the weight, man. Oh, dude. The weight is fantastic. So... That's right, we gotta put you on it. So this is a weight seal. Oh, okay. That's probably why it's so high, right? Alright, dude, you take care of this one. And I'll deal with this one. Let's... Let's do this first. We'll use his sail to... Oh, yeah, let's... Oh, Anchor is coming up. That's right. We'll use his sail to get us out of here. And then I'll jump on that large one there. So it is. It's a medium on the front and a large on the back. It does seem longer than the cog. Looks like maybe almost double in length. I wish I could get rid of the cargo on the sides, though. You know, it makes it look really, really cluttered up. And then again, we'll have to hire another guy. I don't know how two-legged will do with a second person, man. He's kind of a one-man one band here, you know? Very slow. We're still by the shallows. Oh, you can't really see underneath. It drafts about the same... A little bit more, I think, than the cog. Can't really see it whenever you're not on it. So yeah, about one and a half times length. Okay, we're out here in open water. Let's go ahead and boost this up. Let's do full sail. And we'll do rotate to... It's going that way, so let's do 60. And then that'll help us out as we rotate around here. But the front one, you know, we have man, it's just the back one I have to do myself. Holy crap, dude, we are moving! And these are with weight sails, right? So having two guys on here won't be bad. 
makes life easier. It seems like it's about the same speed as a cog. It might be... Might be the same speed. Oh, dude, I like this one, but like I said, those things on the sides are kind of weird. I'll have to look up to see if we can get rid of them or not. Okay, let's let's slow you down, somebody. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and spin back around. Drop our speed down some. Let's go ahead and pre-rotate our sails. Seeing as how we are spinning. Dude, we are getting so far from the island. Let's do 65 that way. And then we'll do fully closed just until we spin around. Oh, there's a uh, there's a chest there. Dude, we got <laughs> we got so far away from land. So fast, man. I mean, regardless, even if we don't live on this one, we will still keep it until we need it, right? Because we, we already built it. It'll be good for resource runs. All right, so let's get straightened up here a little bit. I'm going to try to grab this loot while we're out here. So we'll fully open. And then we will fully close. Okay, 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 okay. Nope. See you, buddy. Hey, we're not coming back for you. I'm just saying. I don't know if I can actually hit that with the grapple. We could try. We could try. Nope. I think I let it go too soon. Wait, what was that? Did I hit our own boat? That was kind of weird. What if we can do it from this side? Dude, I keep feeling like we're going to sink in this thing. Oh, yeah, it's saying I'm going to hit our boat. Oh, okay. Let's try this then. Oh, whoop. Okay, yep, we are up on it. Oh, look at that arm, man. Perfect. We are just almost out of range. So how do I get it now? The other ones, I would just pull it up to the boat, and it would automatically... Maybe it'll do the same thing. It'll break and go to my inventory. Yep, there we go. What do we get? Okay, so we got a blueprint for the floor. Okay. A little bit of gold to pay our guy, and some vegetables. I like it. I don't like these. Alright, man. Let's go ahead and full sails ahead. Get back to base. And then I need to rotate you a little bit more. Dude, that is just with the one sail, too. That's not even using the... The front one's up, man. Junior. Buddy. Come with me. Please don't jump off the side. Come on to this one, man. I mean, if that's the case, that's going to make life easier. If I can get rid of that front one, it'll help out, I think, though, whenever we have this thing fully weighed down. That medium sail coming into play. I think we're just going so fast because we don't have anything on us, right? However, I would like to see if we can make a large one and put it on the cog. If so, that's going to be our home for a while. Now let's slow this down a little bit. Coming in kind of hot. And then we should be able to put the rigs on these too for the diving platform and stuff. All right, take it easy. I'm going to pull you in right here. Should have put it back on the other side of the cog. Because I need to spin around. Oh, easy, easy. Can I spin around? Yeah, we're spinning. If I don't hit the dock, we'll be alright. I just want to fit it in here. Back it up to shore. And then drop anchor. And I want to head over to the base. I already have a dive platform. I think I looted. Or did I build it? Something. We've got one of those. So we'll grab it and see if we can put it on the cog. And then... I want to see if we can make a sail. Easy. A little bit more. Alright, can we drop anchor? We can. Oh, that is awesome. Hang tight, dude. I will be back in a few minutes. Alright, let me run over there. Grab our stuff. And we'll do a little bit more testing before we go for the day. I just want to see which one we're going to use for sure, you know. I'm really leaning towards the cog just because... It's more manageable. If we could put a large sail on it. Large weighted sail at that. Alright, so it is the next morning. I went ahead and made the large weighted sail. And if it doesn't work on this, it's not a big deal. I can always make another medium one. I'll probably put on a weighted sail anyways. And then I made one of the diving platforms. I thought I had one that I looted. Couldn't find it anywhere. And there was three flavors to build. There was this one. 
One that said it was made for a Kraken. Not sure what that means. It looked like exactly the same, the kind you put on the rail. And then the other one was only used on like a brig, schooner, or the galleon. And this one does not look like it attaches at all to this. I'll have to see if I'm doing this wrong too. It says that it attaches to the railing. Maybe on one that you have to build yourself and not a pre-made one. That might be something too. Not that big of a deal. Cool. Well, let's go ahead and... We are on the cog, right? We are. <laughs> Don't want to destroy the wrong one. Demolish you. And it's gone. Oh, we can't! So this sale requires 2.66 units, and we only have two. So we cannot put anything more than a medium sale on this one. Interesting. However, let's do some more testing since we have the sale. Let's hop up here. Emergency ship ladder. <laughs> okay. The normal one to me. Let's try to get rid of this front one. Oh, wait. Can we just destroy these? I don't think there was a way to. So there isn't. We're kind of stuck with these regardless. That kind of sucks, man. There's nowhere in here to... To do that. Okay. I wanted to get rid of this one and see if we can put a... Another large one. It can't. Okay, so this one does 2.66 units of 5. Okay, so that's good to know. At least we know now that you can't have two larges. We could do two mediums, but we have the one large. Actually, that one large, man, it does fantastic, right? Again, but if you have this thing way down, you'll probably want that extra sails for kind of boosting everything. Maybe for the front there instead of a weight. Oh, wait, was that a weighted sail? It was. So now we're down to 14,000. What I might do if we end up using this for for much stuff is maybe put a speed sail on the front. That way we can keep our speed up some. Maybe? I don't know. We'll have to see. I really don't like these though. If I can't get rid of these, we might not use this one too much. And I'll just put the weighted sail over on that one and use it. Hmm. Interesting. Well. What happened there? That was super weird, dude. It went to nighttime all of a sudden for no reason. It's like what happened there? It was daytime. It like jumped a whole day. Dude, that was weird, man. Anyways, I was about to say, <laughs> not too bad of a day. However, it's turned into a very weird day now. But we got two boats made, and those are the easy ones to make. Well, probably, like I said, I keep saying it, probably move into the cog. Just because it has a good carry weight, it is super fast, man. And it only requires one crew member. Unless I can get rid of the cargo things on the side of this. And then we'll kind of go from there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll probably start moving in in the next video and doing some more exploring out. I know there's some more land down that way. Not too far from here. Just a little bit south. Check out and see what's there. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.